So welcome back to the channel. And um, today we're going to go over number nine on my list. And um, normally like the past two videos, the honorable mention and number 10, we had, uh, you know, live video playing in the background from um, from the NFL the subscription I got. Well, that subscription is down right now. It's saying they're getting ready for the 2021 season. So I'm going to talk to you quickly about the number nine guy on our list. Roll the intro. All right, so our contest has started. And um, if you have not got your entry in, you know, by the time this video comes out, it's going to kind of be too late because that'll be two guys that you have of the 10. So, um, Number the three honorable mentions, you know, to start the series off were um JK Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Mark Andrews. Those are the three guys that I think, you know, would be 11, 12, 13 in no particular order of the most important uh guys for this upcoming season. I gave you number 10 yesterday, which I thought was Jimmy Smith, and I kind of gave you an a summary or idea of you know why I thought that. So coming at you today with number nine is Rashad. Bateman and I'm going to run down these reasons why you know I think he's going to be well he's the ninth most important guy on you know on the Ravens team and the reason being is because we need a guy outside of Mark and Hollywood to produce if you get those two guys Mark and Hollywood is going to get their attempts going to get their targets and you get Bateman and I really wanted to make this a twofer. I wanted to make number nine two people. I wanted to make number nine Bateman and Sammy. But I'm going with Bateman because Bateman has the more upside. This could have easily been a, a Bateman slash Sammy Watkins, you know, number nine pick. But I'm going with Bateman because of the upsides. He runs routes like no other. This guy could 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 eventually be a route runner like Diggs. Not saying he's a route runner like Diggs now, but he could eventually be a route runner like Diggs. Goes up and attacks the ball, um, just in and out of breaks, uh, catches balls in traffic, plays taller than he is. And, you know, if you need proof of any of this stuff, go back and watch my, my video of him when he was in college. I got, I got film on it. I broke it down. And I talked about all this stuff that I'm talking to you about now. Go back and watch that video of me talking about him when he was in college. The, you know, and he was not my number one receiver because you know they had the big three. Then I had num, I had Marshall. Then I had Bateman as my fifth best receiver. But after seeing, you know, just going back through that film and seeing what he done in the OTAs and seeing how well, you know, how his footwork is, how 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 explosive he is. I think he would be a perfect complement to what we do. I don't think he's going to have 80, 70 catches. I think he's going to have right around 40 catches. But his catches are going to mean a lot. Because he can get he can get yak. He can make the tough catches. He can be a third down threat when everybody guards Andrews. On third down, everybody's going to guard Andrews because that's what we like to throw the ball. So now we got other options. You got Hollywood. That can can blow the top off of. You got Andrews that can work in the middle. You got Sammy that can work intermediate. You got Bateman that can work intermediate. And I, I think he's going to be the perfect complement to our offense. And if he if he gets somewhere between thirty to forty five catches, perfect. I think he could turn that into about six seven hundred yards with about seven eight TDs. Because not only can he, you know, he can go up and make those. He plays taller than he he is. Not only can he make catches in traffic, he can turn a hitch or a slant into a house call. He can turn a hitch or a slant into a house call. He can take. Just think about this. That remember when Hollywood's first game against Miami, and we ran an RPO, and he ran that slant and took it to the house. Bateman can do the same thing. Difference is Bateman's a little bit thicker, and so he won't have to have an as as open lane. Like Hollywood had that, you know, in that first touchdown he had against the Dolphins. So my thing is with with him, he he complements what our offense does to me 
perfectly. And again, I could this could be you could say all these things about Sammy too, but Bateman's upside is a lot better than Sammy's at the time based off age and, and different other uh, nuances of it. But this could be Bateman slash Sammy Watkins. But I think by the end of the year, I don't think Sammy's going to be obsolete. But I think Bateman's going to be the guy getting those that that number two receiver reps. And I think he's eventually going to flourish as our number two receiver. So that's number eight, Rashad Bateman. This is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, uh, comment. I'm going to check my, my email to see if anybody list matches up so far, and then we'll go forward. And even if you did send a match, uh, send a list in, tune in, you know, to get these com to get these videos coming. I'm trying to get you, you know, every day until August the 2nd. Hopefully I can get it done before August the 2nd. And uh, you'll see my top 10 most important Ravens for this upcoming season, especially with training camp about to start probably in a week or so. I think rookies reported today. We already had two guys that were put on the um, – None football injury list, but I think that's just conditioning test. I think that's just not passing that conditioning test because you know the conditioning test in Baltimore is H-E double hockey sticks. But I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. With the, with the, with the, with the, with the.